Hi guys, how's it going? Uh, this is uh, doing my third year service on my Ford Focus 12 plate 1 litre EcoBoost and in this episode I'm going to be changing the oil and oil filter. So, coming over here, the tools you'll need. Oil is a little bit of a dirty job, so what you'll need is your socket set. I think for this one you'll need your 10 millimeter. Um, here. I'm not sure exactly which one it is though, so we'll see as we go forward. Uh, you'll need your vehicle's jacking up set, because you need to jack up the actual vehicle. Axle stands while you're working. You need an old, preferably some old oil can that you got your oil in, if you've got an older one, or just some plastic can you can use to take it to the uh, the depot. Some rags, just to make sure you don't spill any anywhere, and to wipe your hands and to wipe any off the sump. Um, an oil collection can, or oil drip bowl. I'm using this so the oil is going to drip into here and I can pull it out quite easily so this is quite special for it but any just big plastic bowl will do. The more easy it is to pour back in there the better. Um, your oil filter, now I like to go with the, you can get fancy ones, I'll just get my manufacturer's standard so this is a genuine Ford oil filter for the EcoBoost 1 litre. Same like that. Now the oil I got, you can get obviously lots of different types, as long as you get that one so that with the W's and the numbers there, and as long as it fits your specification, you're okay. And there's lots of different brands out there. Now, the reason I'm doing this myself, one of the big motivators, is that on my last service, for my two-year service, the Ford approved dealer put in the wrong oil. They put in 5W30. And for my EcoBoost, the one litre version, it specifically says in the manual, you can only use 5W20. So I'm going to be doing mine a little bit more thoroughly this time, and I've also got the top quality ones. This is Magnatec Professional. Um, you can get um, cheaper ones, Super Synthetic and uh, uh, Super QXL, I think, are two other ones. But um, I like to get, you know, top brand. Got this on eBay for a good deal, £30 for 5 litres. This car holds 4 litres by itself, a bit more with the oil filter, but I'm going to be flushing it just a little bit, so I'm going to be using a bit more, so I want 5 litres. Make sure it fits your Ford specification or whatever vehicle you're using. It's all relatively the same on each vehicle, but this is how it is for the EcoBoost. And final thing, you can get a um, special socket wrench to get the uh, oil filter off. I've just got some um, uh, packing, some non-slip non packing mat, so I can just wrap my hand around it and take it off with my hand if I need to. But they should come off by hand, no problem. Right, so first thing you want to do is you want to run your engine. Get it to its full operating temperature and then let it cool down. Spend about 10 minutes letting it cool. The reason for it is that you want to get the oil circulating. You want to get a lot of gunk out of it. You'll see there's a lot of gunk. And if, it seems a bit weird it's there, but that's what's happening in your engine. Now mine is, this bit is pretty warm. This is the um, where the exhaust gases go, hence the no touch sign. So when the vehicle's running, you do not touch this, obviously. But, um, but uh, you need to be sort of cool enough so that you can touch your hand there and it's reasonably warm. And when you feel the sump, when you get under it, it needs to be warm. Remember, the engine operates at 90 degrees or whatever temperature it does. So you cannot do it straight after your engine. You need to wait for at least 10 minutes or so. But it needs to be relatively warm. The warmer it is, the more gunk you're going to get out and the better your oil change is going to be. So again, the reason I'm doing this, the garage got their oil wrong in my car. So... Um, yeah, I want to get as much gunk out as possible and all the oil out of it, so I'm going to flush it a bit as well. We'll worry about that later. Okay, so, first step, jack up the car. The sump for this model is located on the underside. We have to take off the engine shield, and we'll need our torque set over there. So, first thing, I'm just going to use, I haven't got any fancy jack up equipment. I'm just going to be using what comes in the boots for any punctures under the spare wheel in your boot jack up so if you don't know how this works you turn that round it jacks it up for you make sure you've got axle stands which are of course approved to your car's tonnage this car is just about two tons just under um, those stands each will be able to hold two tons easy uh, so get two of those under them and that should be absolutely fine
Okay. Once you've got your car jacked up, two axle stands and using the uh, stand Go itself. Under the car. We can see what we need to do is we need to take off this. Can you see well? Um, we need to take off this. It's called the under, the engine underbody, the under shield. And it's a little bit like um, like a got a matte finish. And this one looks like it's got T27. Uh, yep, that's T27 to me. So get your ratchet out. I'll take these off. Make sure you put them in a sensible place. Make sure gone more of DIY. If it was there before, put it back after. Don't know what it does. Okay, so now the engine shield slips forward. Uh, okay, right, I've got to remember that. It slips forward and then back. I'm just going to put it about there. Ah, right, let's see if we can get the camera under here. Okay, right, here we are. So this is under the, you've got a terrible view of my camera. See under the engine. So this is your, uh, that's the exhaust, and that's the um, wiggly bit, which lets the exhaust go out. And that's your clutch, and that's your engine. And that's your alternator up there. Um, that's your um, obviously when you do the third year services, you're going to follow the whole of my guide. I'll be taking this off again and looking all under, uh, inspecting all these uh, these rubber gaiters here, all these joints and all the things. Check if anything's loose. Now what we're looking for is we're looking for the oil sump. A uh, quick way we can find that is if we can find the oil um, uh, cleaner. And there it is. Gotta get there. So the sump is this big thing. I don't know how well I can see it. It's quite far at the back actually. It's about it's about um about in line with the tires. And this is the your uh, sump uh, plug. Now this is feel pretty warm for me. Uh, maybe see if you can get a good angle there. You know, just like slip around there with those screws on, maybe you can get a better angle. So You got a good one? Mm -hmm. Cool. This is it. Uh, now, the uh, filter's up there, which is a bit of a pain, but this is your actual sump. It's still a bit warm. That's good for me. Um, I'm going to take it off like this. I'm going to maybe heat, I'm going to just check the dipstick uh, temperature again, just feel it, feel how warm it is. I want it as warm as I can stand it, but obviously not too warm, you know. Uh, this looks like the pipes that goes towards the. Uh, that looks like coolant to me. There's pipes. And we're going to basically undo these, this screw here. This looks like a 14 mil to me-ish. I'll double check that. 14 mil, and we're going to undo that and get our drip things here. But first, let's set it all up. Um, mine still actually shows the gauge on as pretty much engine is still very warm. So that's okay. The sump is warm, so I'm happy with that. It's to take your oil cap off. My torques. Where did I put my nuts? <laughs> yeah. Ah, it could be a 14, but I think a better fit would be 13. Thirteen mil, but you're still not coming. Okay, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to get my um if it won't come, then just upgrade your size a bit. It's being a bit difficult, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my uh torque wrench to undo it. It's just a very long one. This old one it's got uh the bar that adjusts. Which my spanner video I sure hit my um if you watch my uh, spark plug video, you'll see how it works, but 
She fires me with my talk to be able to undo this. There we are. Got it. Just undo it a little bit, and then I should come up. Now, take that off. Put on this one. Come on, it just came. There we are. Right. Once you start to get it, any amount of oil can come out. So, I would just put your pan here. Yeah. I think it's going to do something like that. And then continue to undo it. going to come out. So just feel the sump. This feels warm to me. If I get a bit on me, it shouldn't matter too much. It's going to start dripping. Yeah, it's alright. It's all going to come out. Oh, I've got it positioned okay. Here it comes. And there we are. And there she goes. This is about four litres this car holds. Um, I'm just going to leave this to let it drip as much as it wants out. Let's see some plug. Now, just check the. I'm going to. So while that drips out, I'm just going to get that from under here. So while that comes out, oh, you can have a look. So, let's get my hands with this. You can see there's a seal on here, it's like a little washer here. Now, a good protocol is to change this every time if you want. And on the last time it was changed, um, I couldn't find one on the internet, but I'll find one next year, so I'm going to change it next year. Um, I'll just check the see if that looks okay, see if it's an oil tight seal. Looks, looks okay to me and it's holding it well before, it hasn't corroded or anything, or it's not a very weird colour or anything, so I'm very happy with that. It was a bit warm, so you can see when it came out, it was a bit, it wasn't just oily, it was very gunky as well, it was very black, you can see the residue is still on my skin. It's a bit bleak. So, got a good amount of that out, I'm just going to let it all rain out. What you want to do, is so now that stopped dripping, I want to get everything out, you can stop it when it stops dripping. It's, uh, yeah, still, see all the slit. See how it's not really oil anymore, it's sludge. It's, very, it's not quite it should be, so it's still dripping a little bit. Let's give the whole plug a bit of a clean. It's still dripping, but one thing is you want to just clean the front face of it and uh, to my side. now what you want to do is take the camera out get your new oil and I'm gonna make sure obviously you get it from a second hand source make sure it's sealed and then that click which is my case It is, in fact, brand new. Poke it. Now, what I want to do is get a bit of the new oil. Look how 
clear and green that is. This is the one that Ford used, Castrol, was supposed to use. It's got this green dye in it. That, and if you take it in for service, it hasn't got green dye. It means you haven't used their proper oil and the warranty will be void. Give it the new oil and just put it on the ring like that. Just give it a nice uh, like oil tight coating. Right over there. And now put this back in the bloke. Turn it with your fingers. The dripping should stop. Wipe the area clean. Wipe it all down clean. And not too tight. We'll just give it a good. You know, sort of average spanner tight. Not too tight, not too loose. Right, okay. Uh, I'll look at the torque settings for that a little bit later. But just for now, we'll leave it like that. And the next bit we want to do is the filter. So, ooh, nice bit. Of batch of oil there. Put that over there. That's all the used oil. I see how. Got a little bit everywhere. We've got a bit on this rag as well. And now I want to go up. And I don't know how hard this is going to be because that was pretty difficult. So I'm going to take my, uh, my non slip mat and I'm going to hope I can undo it because if not, I've got to go and get an oil ratchet. You can get specific ratchets to take off these filters. Um, I'm just going to reach up here, now my model's all the way up in here, I'm just going to reach up all the way in here. Oh, I got it, ooh, I go for that, <laughs> otherwise that'd be a bit embarrassing. Right, it's really tight on. Next time I will get one. Um, thank God I had this. Um, the way I found to do it is come from this side and twist your arm like that. It's right up here. So if I grab my, um, hopefully not much will come out, but if I can grab my oil thing just in case some does. Grab my oil. Grab my oil. Dripper here. So it's going to come out down here. It's going to drip down this way. Take this off like this. Just unscrew it. Drip out. Put that down there. Get out of here. Just ah, uh, how good it stopped dripping. No, it's still kind of dripping. This is the old one. Look at this. Ugh. All this coming out, so gunky. Just turn upside down like that. Let's see. In a cool way, the way these work is oil comes in around the outside. See, it's pulling up in there. Oil comes around the outside and uh, goes on the outside, and there's filters, special. Um, 
Maybe filters uh, converge all the way into the oil's pumped outside and it comes through on the inside and this is the clean oil that comes through the middle and comes out to your car and you, so your car runs with completely clean uncontaminated oil. When oil runs in all around your engine it collects all pollutants and rubbish stuff in the air that your air filter doesn't get and then your um, fuel if you get cheap supermarket fuel just leave that here and also it's a nice verification for a brand new one. Looks exactly the same. See everything on it. Put that there. No. Same with that one. When we grease it up to put it in, uh, we're gonna want to um, put some uh, fresh new oil all around that. But first, let's just take a little look at the end here. The three guys. Okay, Oops, just about to stop now, so just gonna move this out of the way. Okay. Don't get as much as you can. Anything you don't get the engine is just gonna burn off, it's gonna make a way weird smell. Gonna kill the engine, but you know. And where the actual oil filter goes, and just give it a once over with the rag. Don't so get any rubbish. Remember, the oil filter's going to clean anything anyway, you know. Just make sure that. Let's get all the oil that dripped down. It's a very bad design to put it there. I mean, usually it should be like somewhere here in the sump, like at the front, so it just all drips straight down, but no. My name's a Ronnie to EcoBoost and I want to be as big of a pain as possible to my owner. Oops. And all the people that do maintenance on me. Okay, right. Tip that rubbish there. That job's a good one. Now. Okay. Just get that over there. Should be, should be done now with rogue oil going everywhere. What we'll do, we'll get a brand new oil filter. Same again. So, I'm gonna get the camera over here. Yeah, filter. Get some oil. I'm gonna keep it nice and clean. Put it in there. Get some air. Oh, no. oh yeah. Nice old cutter. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Good. Okay, and then we pop, pop that back in. Try not to get any oil on it. I know it's very off the camera, but you literally just put it back on and screw it back on. It screws on and off. Do you want to? That's paper. Past the camera here, so it's right there. What you do is screw it back on exactly as you took it off, just screw it back on. It's just gone nice and easy as long as you haven't cross it, and you can feel that. And when it gets starts to get tight, do not over tighten it, just screw it with your hands until you feel it's nice and in there. If you've got a little bit of oil on your hands when you're doing this, which I have, must be a bit of kitchen mop, please. Oh, yeah, little spanners that couldn't be here today, so uh. We found a new replacement. Hey there. Oh, right. So let's try and clean your hands. Bit of a. Uh... There we are. Not too tight, but obviously, you know, it needs to be tight enough. There we are. Good, good. That's by hand. Never use a tool. If you use the tool to get it off, never use the tool to get it back on. Never, ever, ever, and that's nice and tight. Now, uh, very good. We're all good under here. So, take that. Job, almost. Well done, that's the hard part. Out the way. And now, 
I'm just going to go and double check all the settings for the torque and what they should be in there. Jump. So 18 foot pounds. So what I'll do is you come over here. I'll use my ancient torque wrench. Now, look at my spark plug video. Um, see how it works. But basically, I'm going to tighten it. This gauge will slide left and right. So if I want 18 foot pounds, I'll just take, tighten it until this goes over there. When I undid it, it took about 80 foot pounds, 90 foot pounds to undo it. Um, so I'll put it on and uh, can use, what is it here is it, that's it, 10, 14, there it is, do the matrix under here. That on there, 13 mil. Now, I can see pretty comfortably from here. I know you guys can't, so I'll take here. I'm just going to pull it until it gets to 18 on my gauge. And that comes at about. Yeah, yeah, that's it. And I felt it going a bit and tightened it up that tight. That's all it is. Right, but don't do it at all just yet because we need to make sure we need to check for leaks. We need to make sure we haven't messed anything up or, you know, critically haven't, um, you know, make, make sure we haven't um, pulled any wires or anything like that. If there's, we haven't done anything up properly if we cross threaded something. It's a good thing to do beforehand to do your, before you do your checks so that when you do your checks if there are any problems that you've done you can pick them up okay so if we come back up here so now all the oil's out the system so what we're going to do is now we're going to put oil in the system so, brand new oil and what we're going to do is a fill a filler cap would really help pause it Okay, so I just found out I forgot my funnel. So what I'm going to do, because it's really bad to spill it around this part of the engine, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour it into this container. Uh, do it nice and slowly anyway, so when you pour it, so you know, only put in half a litre at a time, then it sort of sip everywhere. This is what it looks like. Ooh, that's about half a litre. Ooh, it's a green. Put that there. It smells quite clean. Do you want to just move the bit so I can... Nice and beautiful engine. And now I'm just going to have to fill it up half a litre by half a litre, but um, when you, if you do fill it up, if you have a funnel, then go and do it too quickly. Um, Don't do it too quickly. Do it by, do it by a bit. Because remember, four litres is sort of the, you know, it's a bit academic. That's the sort of academic amount it has in it. But you're never going to get all the old oil out from the system. Because obviously it's coated all the parts and everything. So, um, the best you can do is, your, and the actual amount you're topping up is maybe about three and a half. Um, what's that one? Funny if you can pause it if you want. So, okay, so now we're down to one litre on here, just above. So, two, it's everywhere. So what we'll do now is just check the dipstick. Only add in, add it in slowly, and only add in half a litre at a time. If you're worried about where it is on the dipstick, just add in half a litre. You can't go wrong, because remember, the oil filter is going to take up some anyway. So this looks about where we want it. 
about halfway on. So we're going to add it. We're going to fill it up to the maximum. So we can add in a bit more oil, and then we're going to let it circulate around the engine. We're going to start the engine. And when we do start the engine, lights are going to come on and tell us, "Oh no, we've got no oil." But we need to wait for the oil pressure to build up. So for me, this that's pretty much halfway. That's exactly what, where I want to see my oil when I do a normal dipstick check. But it hasn't filled up our brand new oil filter. Yet. So I'm going to put in just a bit more. Put in a bit more. It's about 100 milliliters or so. Yeah. Now, put the cap back on. Catch a little bit dirty, actually. Let's get that quickly. Now it's about the, you know, now's the time. You know, all these small things you do with the car takes care of it. I just saw there's a little bit of dirt around the edge of my cap. Not oil dirt, dirt, dirt. So let's, let's get that on the outside. You know, these are small things that mechanics won't do. In the garage, you know, they've got God knows how many cars to see, God knows how many service changes, and they don't really care about you. You know, they don't care how long your cars last beyond 10 years of life or whatever. If you want a car to last 20 years or more, you know, through actual use, or, you know, 200,000 miles or more, this is the small things you do that protect it in the long run. Just keep everything nice and clean. You know, keep it looking as if you want to see, you know, your house or something. Small things like this nut. A little bit corroded there. I'll clean that a little bit later. Small things like that just increase the lifespan of the car. If you need to do anything, you can do it. Okay, so now I'm just going to give it a quick run. hasn't come on but if it comes on for your car just let it circulate for a few minutes and fill up the uh, new oil filter they're getting the gaps and you can check underneath they're dripping anything that doesn't look right if anything drips anything leaks just recheck all the things you tighten make sure you put the oil filter on right make sure you put that little bit of oil around the outside While this is going on, I'm just going to clear up a little bit around the car. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so the car's been running for a few minutes. It's warmed up completely. So, switch that off. Okay. And that's uh, pretty much it, guys. Uh, the other things you need to do is, uh, I recommend just maybe give it a good drive. Keep your oil with you in the back. I'm going to do a dipstick check a little bit later. If it's still a bit low, just keep topping it up with oil. But now it's a top-up job. The majority of the oil has changed. We've got our new filter on. We've got our oil on. Um, everything's a good one. Uh, jack down the car. Make sure you put the underbonnet back on, the sheath back on. Um, and that's about it. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, guys. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to see any other videos about uh, the service of this car or any other things about the car in general, anything else you'd like to do about it or a review of the car, it's a Ford Focus 1 litre EcoBoost, the UK model. Give me a subscription, uh, drop a comment in the section below, and uh, I'll see you next time.